In the last part of this example, uh, we looked at the flow lines. We said, gee, those flow lines look like circles. And sure enough, uh, we were able to, by doing the following thing, knowing that this is a velocity vector, we set uh, minus y equal to um, the i component of a, any velocity vector. And we looked at uh, x, and we set that equal to um, dy dt, which is the j component of any velocity vector. And we're able to eliminate t and see that the uh, uh, flow lines actually were circles, which is great. Um, unfortunately, we didn't actually check to see if the velocities were right. Um, all we did was made sure that the path was right. As soon as we eliminated t, we eliminated any discussion about velocity. So what we want to be able to do now is check to see if we actually do pick a parameterization uh, for a flow line um, that the velocities actually work out the way they're supposed to. So what we do is remembering that we have uh, circles going like this and what I, we're going to do is just say well if I want a parameterization of a circle like that um, th now the radius could be anything so I'm just going to write down that x equals k times cosine t and then y would be k times sine t now that's actually not just the right path anymore it's actually got um, it's got a velocity that we can check um, remember how we find the velocity right we write down r of t and that's just x times i plus y times j like that. And then we find the velocity by taking the derivative. I want the velocity equal to, let's see, this is going to be minus k sine t i plus k times cosine t j. And remember, this is what we mean by dx dt. And this is what we mean by dy dt. And now we want to be able to check. And what's to check, right? First thing to check is that minus y is actually the same thing in this case as dx dt. So what we need to do is say for our case, is it true that minus y is equal to dx dt? Well, let's see here. Um, dx dt, according to our little um, table down here, is equal to minus k sine t, like that. Um, and minus y, well, y is k sine t. So minus y is minus k sine t. And we can see that that part of the motion is actually correct. The second thing we're supposed to check is that x is exactly, in this case, equal to uh, dy dt. So I'm going to write down x equals dy dt. This is something that needs checking. Um, x, for our parameterization, is k cosine t. So I walk my x over here like this. And dy dt, according to our derivative over here, is also equal to k cosine t. And so that checks. And so what we get is not only is it going around the right kind of path, um, but it's actually going along so that the velocity is actually what it's supposed to be. And that's how we confirm that.